Well, there's a breakthrough in clashes between taxi drivers and e-hailing services out in Soweto. Tensions had spilled over into violence at two Soweto malls in the last two days with taxi operators torching Bolt and Uber cars. Well, they accused the e-hailing companies of encroaching on their territory and further stealing their customers. But now it seems there's a compromise. Uber and Bolt drivers will now be allowed drop-offs as well as pick-up points, but only outside the mall. This unless they are transporting the elderly or disabled passengers. Here's ENC's Hari Jokers with more. Tensions remain high in Soweto after a number of Uber and Bolt cars were torched at two different malls. It's not yet clear who is behind the attacks, but the Soweto e-hailing association has blamed local taxi operators. An urgent meeting with local government has not been able to provide a long-term solution. The e-hailing association has put the blame squarely on government. Many people within e-hailing are operating with a slip to prove that they've applied for a permit. But that permit has never come. And some of these slips are more than five, six, seven years old, waiting for feedback from departments, South End Department of Road and Transportation. Uh, they, at some stage, were under a moratorium. At some stage, they were trying to establish, it, to establish a proper permitting regime. And uh, we're told they're waiting for the law to be signed in. So again, it goes back to government to say, you need to regulate and put a permitting regime in place. The local taxi association has washed its hands clean of the unrest. It refuses to take blame or responsibility for the attacks. But they want the e-hailing sector to be regulated or structured better because it's causing too much confusion in its current form. <laughs> The Public Safety and Transport MMCs have now intervened and are calling for e-hailing drivers to adhere to the agreement until Friday. As a public safety with GMPD and SEPS, we are going to the ground. Our undercover unit is already there now to check what is this third force, who's doing which, because both of them, that, you know, we are not fighting because e-hailing used an app and the taxis, they are, you know, they've been operating. So now, uh, that's why now the MC said that we have agreed that there's an establishment of the committee. All stakeholders, the taxi association, the e-hailing, ourselves were there as MMCs. And also you've got the CPFs, you've got the patrol that will be there, and you've got uh, all the other NGOs, they even say the so, so the parliament will be there. Then we're going to have another follow-up meeting now to ensure that now we put in systems in place. Another meeting is scheduled for Friday. Heidi Jokos in Soweto.